Welcome, our friends. Have you ever wondered what it is like to be on a seaborne cruise? Is it worth it? What is different about it? Well, join us to find out for yourself. So we're finally on board at Seaborn Encore and I am so excited to check the room with you. Let's come in. Oh my goodness. Let's start with the bathroom, okay? Ta-da! Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. So check this out. We have this huge shower um, made of marbles and it's like they have this wide beautiful design and we have a tub. Oh my gosh! We're gonna enjoy this one. We have a tub here in the here in the cruise. We have a tub and then this is the sink for two and we have this molten brown. That is nice. This is so gorgeous. We also have all of these toiletries. Let's go further in the room. I like this. <laughs> Here's a little mirror. And now let's check out the closet. How big is this? So we have a safe, all these drawers. So much room for the luggage. Oh my god. This is the bed. So what's nice is that they put this on top of the bed so you can put your luggage and your bed doesn't get dirty. And then we have so much storage. And then separately we have the living room. Let's check what this is. This is Kind of like a mini bar. Ooh, we got some champagne. That would be really great with the hot dog. The TV. <gasps> Look what we're popping later. <laughs> More champagne prepared for us. Welcome aboard the Seaborn Encore on Voyage. Wow, what a beautiful welcome. And then this is our living room space. So you can work, chill, or entertain friends. <laughs> now, let's go check out the balcony. <laughs> Yay! Welcome, guys! And from here, you can enjoy gorgeous views. Now, let me give you a brief tour of this ship. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> so from this beautiful corridor, we have a view of this beautiful stairs that go all the way up. We'll start with the pole of the ship. Follow me.
Deck 12. The Deck 12 starts with the retreat. Good morning and welcome to the retreat. This is a nice and beautiful retreat. It's a private section that you can have and enjoy the whole day. So here on the top deck, which is the 12th floor, we have a beautiful resting area. Imagine yourself you can enjoy while the boat is riding on the very front of the boat, enjoying the scenery of the beautiful ocean. On the deck below, on 11th floor, we have the observation bar. At evenings here, you'll hear a lot of live music from the piano and have this vast opening in the front of the boat that you can just uh, enjoy another view, another drink. And just outside this observation bar is the deck. Down below, on the deck 9 and 8, we have owner suites. We'll show you those a little later. Now let's check out the Whirlpool at deck 7. Here you'll find a jacuzzi on the right on above the boat, where you can get your drinks, your champagne, caviar, whatever you wish and enjoy a sunrise, a sunset, a lunchtime. <laughs> now we'll move from the forward of the boat to the aft. Now we have reached just the middle of the boat and this is called the restaurant. Welcome to the restaurant. So once a week, they do a formal dining evening. So at that night, you wear your formal attire and you can dress up in your suit, tie, and beautiful dress. Third deck is where is the tender embarkation where people go in and out from the ship, going to the port with a smaller boat. Now we reach the aft of the boat, we are on a deck 5, and here we can find the club and the casino. Walking all the way through the casino, you reach the stern of the boat. Let's take a look what's there. And in this deck, you will find another pool and two whirlpool baths where you can enjoy the beautiful view of Greece, Italy, or wherever you may be on this cruise. And behind me, it's a grand salon, which every day they would have a new show. As so of tonight, for example, we have the World of Wonder, celebrating the songs of Stevie Wonder. And on a deck seven, you can find the square when you can grab your morning coffee, or if you need some help with services, questions about the boat, anything like that. Something like in the hotel, it's a concierge. As well, you can find there unlimited fresh gelato. What's the best one? What's the best? Well, they're all good. Which one you run out first? On the same place Usually. Uh, normally, if, uh, well, it's the uh, caramel. caramel and then also the coconut, but uh, and also if we have mango. Oh, but okay. uh, mango we had yesterday, yeah. so yeah, or it's gone. Uh, it's gone. Yeah. And every day we change over. So okay. it's depending, uh, you know, sometimes pistachio goes quite well. Okay. Chocolate, okay. vanilla is the quickest moving one. Okay. Yeah. Um, would well, you want something? Yes, caramel oh. and uh, coconut. <laughs> we'll have two of those, please. Welcome to the square. Thank you so Enjoy much. Enjoy your gelato. We will. Thank you. Pleasure. <laughs> mm. Caramel is my favorite. Caramel is my favorite. No, it's mine. Mine. No, it's mine. 
Top topping. You order the same order I order. <laughs> Caramel is my favorite. <laughs> Once you walk through the square, you end up on an aft deck. Which is another great spot for amazing views. by Thomas Keller, otherwise known as the TK Grill. Now, you wouldn't want to miss this experience because this is a three Michelin star restaurant on board. However, you do need to make reservations in order to dine in here. But if you just want to enjoy a cocktail or two, you can go to the bar and do so without reservations. Here on the ninth floor is the restaurant called Colony and we can have breakfast here, we have lunch here, and also dinner which they change menu all the time. Now, one of the evenings every week, they do smoke ribs and you'll have to do reservation to be part of it. And here on the deck 10, on the aft you can find the gym, wellness center, yoga, Salon. Hello, good morning. My name is Anna. I'm one of the massage therapists on board and welcome to the Spa and Wellness. When you go to the Deck 10, Deck 10 has the patio restaurant where you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it is also the place where you can enjoy the Sail Away Caviar and Champagne event. And you can also have a time in the pool and also have some jacuzzi, some drinks, and some food. From deck 10, we cut down all the way to deck 8 in the middle of the boat where we can find sushi. That's one of our favorite restaurants where you can have lunch and dinner. On the deck below, on the seventh floor, you will find some shopping needs such as perfume, clothes, and other things. This is the end of our ship tour. However, we are just starting and let's enjoy the rest of the ship. As we embarked on Venice, Italy, we sailed south. Being a true all-inclusive, we had breakfast in the balcony while our ship cruised. First stop, what is Croatia? Vodis has a lot to offer in terms of sites, cuisine, beaches, and friendly people. It's a great place for a walk. Or you can have a drink or two. Jevali! Yeah, now, again, again. <laughs> again, well. Welcome in Croatia. Dobrodošli na Hrvatsku. Sushi place. It's called the sushi. Okay, let's try this miso salmon. Mm. 
It's like sweet and tangy with a hint of miso. Wow. It's very tender and kind of sweet and sour at the same time. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. the best survey ever. The beauty of cruising is that you unpack once and you're in a different location every day. You can decide to explore the destination or enjoy the many amenities and award-winning cuisines being offered. And with a ship like Seaborn Encore, you won't run out of options. Where are you going? Dinner. With whom? Secret. <laughs> And for tonight, we picked Earth and Ocean for our dinner. You know, sometimes the food looks really good and I'm ready to eat it. And then my husband stops me because we have to take a picture and a video. <laughs> Oh my god. No. Where's the chicken? Oh. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> Our next destination is Cotor Montenegro. Good morning from the beautiful Couture, Montenegro. Couture is a stunning and secluded coastal city of Montenegro. With plenty of things to see or do, we pick sightseeing by the sea. Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia was a communist country. Behind us is the Alcatraz of Montenegro. This is only for those that are anti-communist. It is now a hotel and casino. Share, a like, a subscribe.